So recently, um, this happened. And as luck would have it, around the same time that happened, Big Tree Tech reached out to me and asked me if I would test drive another one of their products. Here I've got the Big Tree Tech K Touch. And what this is is a 5 inch wireless display that's meant for controlling clipper printers that are running on multiple devices. So inside the box, there's a Big Tree Tech sticker, an instruction manual to get started, a little thank you card from Big Tree Tech themselves. The K-Touch 5-inch touchscreen inside this slippity-dippity condom here. And a little box of accoutrements. That consists of an Allen key to mount the unit, a mounting bracket, a USB charging cable, the Big Tree Tech rubber ducky to make it all official, and a little baggie of coats and screws to put everything together. So the way this works is that you've got this back plate here that holds the screen on with magnets. The USB charger goes into here, and then it uses these little points here, here and here, to charge the unit. And it just snaps right into place with the magnets. This bracket gets mounted like so. And then from there, you can use this to put it onto the edge of a table or one of your machines, what have you. So it's pretty pretty simple in design. You've got a couple different options for power. The first position is running off of battery. The second position is running off of 5 volt DC. So the first thing that happens is it's going to ask you to choose your language. And then it's going to ask you to choose an IP address. If you don't see a Wi-Fi network show up over here, press this button to refresh, choose a network, and then from there put in the password. Once it connects, hit next. And then from here, we can select the printer to connect to or add one below. So we can add a printer or we can choose from a list. I don't see any popping up right now, but I don't have any of my machines turned on either. So let me turn my machines on and see if I can get something to populate. If not, then I could just add them down here by going to manually add a printer, putting in the IP address, and then the clipper port. So I'll go to manually add manually add a printer and then from here I can put in the IP address I'll put the IP address from my pad 7 in and connect to one of the printers from there okay so that was pretty easy you just have to remember that when you put in the port it's going to be 7125 for your default device 7126 for your subsequent devices if they're all running off of the same clipper controller so if I go here I can add another printer 192 .168.1.14 and then from there 7126 hit OK hit OK manually add printer connect to that printer and there we go so to choose different printers go to printer selection choose a different printer hit OK and then hit back It'll connect. It shows you up here what printer it's connecting to. And then from here, I should be able to go in and go through the menus, home out the machine. And I don't know if you could hear that, but it homed out no problem. Go back to here, printer selection, choose a different printer, hit OK. Hit back, access temp, make sure everything's clear, hit home. And now it's homing out my Neptune 3 because that's on port 7126. Go back to printer selection, add another one, manually add printer, put in the IP address 192.168.1.14, port 7127. Now I can choose that one, hit back. Now it's connected to my Ender 3 V3 SE. That one homed out okay. So this isn't going to take the place of the clipper device that's controlling the machines. It's just a tablet that you can use to control the machines without having to get in front of the machines. So I can use this to control my artillery Sidewinder X3 and X4, as well as my other printers without having to 
go over to the pad 7, I can actually just hold this and control it from there. I don't have to be in front of the machines hammering away at the pad 7 or crouching down and controlling the machines from the UIs on the machines that are on the lower shelf. But as far as printing is concerned, if I go to start printing, it should show me a list of programs that are in the Pad 7 for the Ender 3 V3 SE. You see right here, you can scroll through all of the available programs that are on that machine. Go back to this button here, brings you to your main screen, printer selection. And then from there, you can choose a different printer. Hit back, wait for it to connect, go to start printing. And now it'll query the program list on, in this case, my Neptune 2. Now that does take a little while, but I'm assuming that that has something to do with the Wi-Fi connection. It shows right here that it's not a very strong Wi-Fi connection. I usually get a pretty good signal from the Pad 7, from the CB1 Wi-Fi, and all of the other machines that I have inside this room. So I'm not sure if that's this device or, or what. I'll try walking it into the other room and see if the signal improves. Okay, so it does take about the same amount of time to load in the program list, but Going into that room and coming back out, we can see that the signal has improved. I'm not really sure why. But as far as calibration and control, we've got all of the different menus. We've got a screen brightness selection. We've got Wi-Fi setting. We can choose the Wi-Fi. We can do a screen timeout. After a certain amount of minutes, it turns the screen off, which will be good for battery life. We can change the color. We can do red. We can do blue system information. Here we can scan the QR code to access the online manual. Now it doesn't it doesn't let me change the name of the printer. So that's something I'm going to have to look into because I want to be able to change the names of these printers. I don't want them all to be printer zero. I want to actually give them names. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that. But as far as the unit itself is concerned. It's pretty easy to set up. It's small, it's convenient, it fits nicely in the hand. So I'm pretty happy with the device as it stands. Not sure what the battery life is going to be, but this is a nice device to have if you're running a print farm that is running headless and you don't have a Pad 7 or anything like that to control it. All of your Pi-type SPC devices or your printers that have the onboard Linux device slash printer MCU built into one, like the Elegoo Neptune 4 or the Artillery Sidewinder X4 Plus. Those devices, they have the, the little graphic interface, little UI, but those little HMI screens are not conducive to being able to control a printer without having to crouch down, as I mentioned before. So this would be good in that case where you're either running a headless machine or you're running machines that have the HMI down on the floor, or you're running without a Pad 7 or a Sonic Pad or what have you. So my takeaways are that the Big Tree Tech K-Touch is a good control tablet to run your clipper-based machines and print farms, especially if you're running headless. It's a good alternative to using your phone or carrying around a laptop to control your machines. The base charger with mounting bracket and removable nature of the unit make it a good wired and wireless solution, but it does seem to have a relatively short battery life of only 20 to 25 minutes, which might be a deal breaker for some people. Keep in mind that the K-Touch is built on the Panda Touch platform, so if you ever wanted to trade in your clipper machines for some bamboo printers, a simple firmware update will make the K-Touch ready to control any of their machines as well. I do wish that it had the macros and control buttons that are created in Clipper Screen when you modify your printer.cfg file, but considering that updates are quick and easy, the ability to add these features would probably be easy to add if it's requested on their GitHub page, but only time will tell. So that'll about wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. And if you know anyone who would like this type of stuff, share it with a friend because sharing is caring. Check out my affiliate links in the description down below at no additional cost to you. It just puts a little bit of catnip into my kitty and it helps with my future channel endeavors. If you're on that cesspool that is Facebook, please join the group. Elegu Neptune Series 3D Printers, Mods, Tweaks, and Improvements, where we offer 24-hour live chats and community support, do the occasional giveaway, and blatantly abuse the everyone tag. If you've got 10 seconds to kill, check out my website at www.theferalengineer.com. It's just a whole bunch more of the same stuff, but it justifies the 10 bucks a year I spend on the URL. 
And finally, thank you to all of my catnip contributors, both past, present, and future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.